Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to do something a little bit different. I very much mean what I said in the title. It is uh, very upsetting that uh, I can't be of more help to people when it comes to the questions that are asked about butane lighters. I'm not upset at anybody though for asking the questions. It never hurts to ask the question. Today's video was um, brought about by a question that I got on the website overnight about repairing piezoelectric ignition in a lighter which to me goes hand in hand with the butane lighters because 99% of them are, I don't know, maybe not that high um, a good percentage of the butane lighters that are just laying around on the floor in there in the other room are piezo ignited and they leak gas. So anyway, I'm going to show you that here in a minute. You can see all the lighters on the floor there. We'll sift through some uh, butane and piezo lighters and hopefully maybe also some of you will see some things here on these tables that you want to trade for. We'll uh, go in there and take a look, but for the most part, what I want to talk about is a lighter that I no longer have. That's why the featured spot here is empty, because the lighter, I do not have it in my possession to, uh, to sit there. It is an Ibello Herman Zahn butane lighter. These photos were from the original listing that I bought the lighter in. Apparently from the 1980s, it was gold tone with a tortoise or some other paint schemed enameled. Looking back earlier through all the pictures, this is the only one I took. Um, I think enamel, maybe lacquer, I don't know. There was a uh, clear coat, I believe a lacquer coat over the entire lighter that I was ignorant of at the time and um, really didn't know what I had my hands on and through using it, which you know I do test all of them when I get them in and if they'll work then I'll use them. Few and far between that it works out that way. But that lighter was a very good it held gas never had any problem leaking I did have a little bit of trouble adjusting it but once I got used to that it wasn't anything I couldn't deal with it was uh, good for all sorts of it wasn't a lazy flame and it wasn't a torch flame either it was sort of halfway in between I really liked it, it was sort of like a Bic flame you could uh, suck it downward if you needed to um, it was just yeah sort of a versatile flame I don't, I don't really know how else to explain it this was the box and uh, you saw the videos or the photos from the original listing there a while ago I've looked these up and seen similar boxes online in listings on eBay and other sites but I could never find one that matched the lighter that was in this box See the German writing, Hermann Zahn, something about the collection of Fuhrzorg, which is German for lighter, I believe. It has sort of a soft plastic, I mean, it's a hard case, but it has sort of a soft feel to it. And the plastic inserts that were covered in velvet has the Herman Zahn signature there looks like the roller laid there left its mark paperwork here shows different places where you could get the lighter serviced it appears um, here in the US, uh, so Australia, Sydney, 
the Netherlands. And maybe the biggest clue that would help me find this lighter, and that is really my purpose in making this video, is out of all the butane lighters, vintage cigarette lighters that I've owned that were butane, this is the one that I would like to reacquire. Um, see here the instructions in German. bellow can't read any of that but that is the lighter that definitely was the same lighter it looks sort of like a slim roller light type here's your guarantee which don't believe that company is in business anymore that lighter went over that same third floor balcony in deep deuce oklahoma city which has been such a a problem to me. I lost a phone off that balcony, damaged a couple of other lighters, and when I dropped that one, it was so damaged at the time that I'd scraped all that paint off of it by then because it was chipping off in my hand every time I would use it. And by the time I got down there on the sidewalk to pick it up, somebody else, it was dark. Seems like it was about 9 30, 10 o'clock at night, and somebody had already picked it up by the time I got down there. We're going to go ahead and step into the other room now and check out, sort through some of these butane lighters here in a minute and let you get a little glimpse of this part of the operation. See a big box of butane lighters laying there on the floor, along with uh, some other stuff there in the background, some petrol lighters that have been worked with here and there. Bubble mailers for eBay. Got a couple of smoking stands there. You've seen those in some videos before. And I'm going to get around to getting those things working the way that they should and uh, get videos made for those as well. Got my vice there, which gets used pretty often. Fuel, alcohol, gloves, a little bit of everything. Have a couple of uh, box Ronson lighters. They're not new. They're, they are used, but I think those are the original boxes. Several... Uh, champ lighters and old parts you can see a lot of times I buy stuff in groups with other things it's not just lighters you saw a bolo tie and some printing blocks and some other stuff down there on the floor you can see that uh, Chrysler beam sensor lighter laying there too I forgot about that this I believe is a Virginia Slims uh, lizard or some kind of reptile leather cigarette pack case very cool if uh, somebody wanted to trade for that maybe I'll get around to listing it one of these days as I said there you get the bubble mailers in the background sort of Different things get staged different places depending on what I'm doing or what I think I'm going to be doing with them. When it comes to these butane lighters, like I said, a lot of them, uh, you can see that that piezo is working, but no fuel. That's a Ronson Comet. It's Flint Spark. Uh, that entire box there is butane lighters. That's going to be a piezo. That one's broke. Yeah, that one clicked. And you can see the spark on it. But none of those hold gas. Occasionally, there will be one that will hold gas. And then usually it's just not going to light properly. But that's the reason that I am looking for this Ebello Herman Zahn butane lighter that's the best butane lighter that i ever owned and uh so i don't really want to talk about butane lighters unless somebody can bring me one of those or show me where i can get one or maybe somebody would uh maybe somebody's got one that they'll trade me for that master case or touch tip anyway if you have one that you can part with let me know until next time